माय नेम इज शिवांगी सारस्वत आई हैव डन बीटेक इन 2015 फ्रॉम आई टी एम यूनिवर्सिटी ग्वालियर करेंटली आई एम डूइंग इंटर्नशिप फ्रॉम शिवा कंसेप्ट एंड सॉल्यूशन इन सॉफ्टवेयर टेस्टिंग एज आई हैव कीन इंटरेस्ट इन सॉफ्टवेयर टेस्टिंग सो आई हैव डिसाइडेड टू जॉइन शिवा कंसेप्ट टू लर्न मोर अबाउट दी क्वालिटी एनालिस्ट प्रोफाइल रोल्स एंड रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटीज एंड आई हैव टोटल सिक्स ईयर्स ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस इन नॉन टेक्निकल फील्ड नाउ आई एम लुकिंग फॉर मोर अपॉर्चुनिटीज इन टेस्टिंग फील्ड ओके what is the process of testing means suppose that you want to implement testing operations of any applications then what process you are following can you tell me this step by step in particular projects or in particular projects so if we have some website given by any test lead or manager then we pros- we ex- execute or just go through the software requirement specification to learn more about the what exactly customer wants or what client wants in the software so we read each and everything in that document and then accordingly we plan a test okay. and execute you just plan the test and execute no after that we implement the code and retesting my question is based on software testing life cycle okay so can you tell me how many phases uh, will be implemented during the software testing life cycle Yes so first phase is uh, requirement gathering and analysis okay. then we test plan then we uh, develop the test cases then we uh, implement that test cases and then we execute and close the test I think that you skip some important phase environment setup environment setup yes. okay so what is the preconditions for uh, test case development preconditions Firstly we have to decide the test test case ID then test scenario for which we execute before 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 creating the test case documents what is the preconditions means uh, what is the pre pre required documents for you pre required documents is system requirement uh, specification document SRS. SRS 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 are some other documents because SRS contain whole specification of the projects okay any other documents which functional requirement specification FRS, FRS. Okay. What is the difference between test scenario and test case? Test scenario is something which we can define only in one line mainly, and it uh, contains like what exactly we execute or what exactly test development we try to make the test case for. Can you define one examples? For test scenario. Test scenario and test case is both. Uh, suppose if we having e room rent website, then if someone told us that we have to design test case for that e room rent then we, when then we choose any one module suppose okay. we choose a registration page then on registration page test scenario would be verify the registration module and okay. test cases define on basis on that test scenario like uh, login or registration so we can put verify that login page by valid or invalid data so okay. we put valid and invalid both entries okay okay how many parameters you will uh, create for test case execution for test case ex- exu- uh, actual result expected result priority uh, and uh, case notes okay severity no in test case development we don't define severity okay so what is the difference between priority and severity priority is something for which we exactly know like what exactly the no no it's like how much time it will take to just solve that particular bug and severity is what like how much it impact on particular software okay can you tell me the any example of low priority and high severity low priority is something like if we having any website and in that website if icon is not corrected like visible or the color combination is not that much good then we can decide it as a low priority and high severity and high severity both, is both both means both rules should be applied there means, okay. okay okay low priority and mm-hmm. high severity so low priority would be the same that user interface okay ui incorrectly and on the same page if we having any registration page or login page uh, then if we put on login user id 1 2 3 and it take our data then it would be considered Single. as any single bug you can explain any single bug any single bug on that particular yeah. page which satisfy both conditions yes. means this this will be low priority and high severity any single bug okay the same bug same bug 
will follow the both features means it will be low priority and high severity so but will be log single login uh, login page we can define as, as something the login page having the title login that login l is capital and o is capital then gin is small letter so this is this would be considered as a low priority but on the same text box if we put without at the rate gmail dot com or invalid again, again this is the two different errors no um, so that your title is the different errors and the data what you are entered into the text box this is the different errors my question is this the error should be single so on the same text box if we enter 123 at the rate gmail.com it can be considered as a low priority Why but low priority because the email id is it is the most it, important high priority na no? this is the high priority login form is the high priority the okay, login form never will be in low priority icon okay. can be considered icon can be considered okay yeah. login form icon can be considered, considered as a low okay if icon is not correct and it is presence on login form then this is this is not in uh, this is in uh, low, low priority, priority and high, high severity. severity okay what is integration testing integration testing is a testing in which we integrate all the small modules and combine and then we can check if it is working fine or not Okay, how many type of integration testing is possible? It's top to bottom, which is known as stub, bottom to top, which is known as driver, and big bang switch. So, ah, uh, testing. Big bang. Sandwich testing is there. Is there yes. any type of uh, yes. integration? Yes. Yes. Sandwich testing? testing is also a part of integration. Okay. So, can you tell me any examples? Yeah, any test scenario where you have worked for integration testing in your real time project? Yes, for real time, I have worked in a uh, clear car rental project and e-room rent, in which I have designed, I have test the login page, and then I di I redirect to the next page, which is a uh, broker and customer page. So when I test that particular one page home page, in which the customer has to log in with the login valid in uh, user ID and password, then it is redirect to the next page, which is the desired page uh, broker login. Then I test both the pages with uh, like combine all the test data with both the pages and check like whether it is working fine after combining these two modules or not. Okay, means you have combined two different modules. Yes, and check. Their and check. Okay, so simply you can say that now you check the applications flow. Okay, what is acceptance testing? Acceptance testing is uh, done mainly when our website or our application is just complete and about to launch in the market. Then user can check whether it has some bugs or not, or it is like bug free project, bug free okay. application. So what is the difference between sanity testing and acceptance testing? I think that sanity testing is also in done this, into the last stages. Okay. Yes, sanity we can check after smoke testing. Means after initial build, we can check sanity and test sanity testing. We mainly check the new builds, like whether the new builds are working fine or not. Okay. Do they have any relationship between sanity testing and acceptance testing? Sanity is something different and acceptance. After successful sanity testing, acceptance testing will be implemented, or after acceptance testing, sanity testing will be implemented. What will be the priority? After sanity, we can do acceptance. Okay. What is ad hoc testing? In ad hoc testing, we don't. Need any sequence to be followed? We can just directly check any module from any sequence, like from ten to one, or in between five. We can pick any five, fifth module to one. So it it's not uh, followed any sequence. Okay. Any test scenario you can tell me this. For ad hoc. Yes, for ad hoc. The link which is not like connected to each other, we can cross check by check. cross link check. We can check by ad hoc. Cross link checking, cross device. Checking. Cross okay. device. Okay. okay. What is security testing? In security testing, we check like whether any website uh, couldn't be uh, like hacked by any ethical hackers or not. We check each and every security holes by by doing SQL injection as well by just typing the SQL commands or check like whether it website is hacked been hacked by someone or not it is that much secure yeah any common test scenario you can tell me for security testing common test scenario 
by security injection we can like check whether the mainly for the login page whether it is it is like hacked by someone or not i think that you are checking the password okay password and you check the strength of password okay password it should, should be, be invisible hmm. okay so that is also the part of security, security testing. testing because the login form is the common security testing means a, every website contain login form okay so this is a common testing for login what is the mutation testing in mutation testing we can uh, just hide or we can just erase some part of the code to check like whether it is impacted uh, on the software or not or it is working fine without that particular code okay muted some part of code you have done api testing also yes okay how implement api testing in api testing we are mainly implement that particular api testing by commands so we have four to three commands like get post delete put and uh, we having url then these are, put, these are the commands or something else these are the commands which is used in postman these are the commands are http endpoints http endpoints i think okay, what is the http http is like hypertext mark hypertext programming something transfer protocol transfer protocol which is mainly used to transfer protocol used to transfer the files okay. on remote server So what is the objective of api testing just to secure the gateways mainly suppose we having paytm and we just in uh, we just uh, enter our login credentials then we redirect to the particular gateway page to make a what payment is, what, is, what, what is api full form of api application programming interface yeah, how to define it what is the actual work just to secure like gateways of payment emails through api test okay i think uh, it is used to communicate the applications data from one environment to another, another. okay means communication application communication uh, can be done by yes, api can be done by the api test okay and api have different different type of endpoints okay you have used any tools to implement manual testing operations mainly i used to uh, like make test cases by excel sheet and for api i used uh, postman and for bug tracking i used jira okay okay that's fine okay, okay thank you sir